This is the perfect setup for web development on Android phone. It has amazing features like live server, auto completion and code suggestion, syntax highlighting, auto format and various themes we can choose from. So we'll be using Termux to make this setup. You can get it from the GitHub release or Android. Once we have that, open it and first thing you must do is to update the repos. So for this setup, we'll be using NeoVim. So just install it along with some dependencies that we need for further setup. Now NeoVim has installed, by default it looks something like this. So to make it better, we'll be using NVChad, which gives NeoVim a perfect ID look and setup. But before that, we need to install nut fonts as it is required by the NVChad to show that beautiful icons. So just go to nutfonts.com, click on download and here you can choose any font. I will be using JetBrains nut font which is right here. So just long click on that and copy link address. Now get back to Termux and create a directory fonts, cd to it. Now execute wget and paste the link you copied and enter. This will download the fonts and it's done. If I ls, here is the zip file. So just unzip that. Now here we have different fonts. Select any one of that you like and execute cp for copy, name of the font and this path. Now just restart Termux and fonts are working. Now installing nvchat is as simple as executing this command and it's installed. Press escape to close this menu and colon q to exit. Next we need to set up. So for this just go to neovim config directory and open NeoVim. Now press Ctrl N to open this file tree and go to Lua. Now press enter on chatrc.lua to open it. Hit I to go into insert mode and here after this line write following. Now hit escape to again go to normal mode and Ctrl S to save it. Next again go to the file tree and at the top of chatrc.lua a to create a new file named plugins.lua. Now go to this page and copy this code under plugins.lua. Then again go to Termux and create a table named plugins and return it. And here under this, paste this code and save with Ctrl S. Now again go to the file tree and create a new file under configs named lspconfig.lua and open that file. Then again go to this page and copy this code under config slash lspconfig.lua. Now go to Termux and paste it and at last write following. And if you are wondering what we did so far, then we added plugins.lua file into the chatrc.lua. In plugins.lua, we add our custom plugins and chatrc.lua is the file where nvchat looks first in custom directory. Then we added nvim lspconfig plugin into our own custom plugins.lua file where this file lspconfig.lua is specified under configs directory that we created. And we added this code in lspconfig.lua to set up our lsp server and this custom code for html, css and javascript. We added this code but still it won't work as we didn't install the lsp server yet. So execute colon to go into command mode and then this command to install this lsp servers. Next to test this, we have a html file here and if I just enter html and press tab for this and hit enter, you can see we got the paste template for html. Same is with javascript and css. If I enter if on javascript file and here on this mark I press enter. We get this full if condition code. But you may have noticed the syntax highlighting is not good. So to set it up, hit colon and this command. This will install syntax highlighting for these languages. Next to set up, go to plugins.lua under lua and after this line paste this code which will install this plugin and this code for auto format on save. Also hit colon and this command to install prettier 
which is needed for auto format. So just quit NeoVim and open it again. And it's installing the plugin. And if we save the code, you can see it formats that. Next one is really cool. So execute this command to install live server. Now wherever your project is saved, execute live dash server to start the live server. It will automatically open the browser and it's working. If I split the screen and make changes in the code and as we save it, it reflects here without refresh. And to stop the live server, just hit Ctrl C. And if you enjoyed, consider like and subscribe.